Walter Overcall here, you welcome indeed to another edition of the program, where this week we're coming to you from the North Mayo capital for highlights of the 2023 Conifla, which was held in the town as part of the Ballina 300 celebrations. We heard we were going to get the fly about maybe a year ago, and uh, because of the Ballina 2023 celebrations, uh, we, we got the opportunity to host it, and uh, we thought, why not? But uh, we formed a committee at the time and then it was held for leather, uh, raising, raising funds was, was the big one, uh, but the, a, a lot of planning, a lot of planning. We're probably planning for a whole year really, but the real work has to probably start since after Christmas and uh, you know, you think that everything is, is going to fall into place, but thank God it's not too bad today now, everything is good and there's music all over the town today because we have a busking competition and we have this, uh, that's down in Pierce Street and Bridge Street. And also uh, the succession trail to just kind of putting music into the pubs. So I haven't been around the pubs because I didn't get a chance yet, you know, but, but I, believe, I, I believe the atmosphere is very good. I really liked the busking competition. I came fourth joint, joint oh, very fourth. Good. Okay. So you get a special prize for that, will you? Yeah. Yes, I got 10 euro. Okay, what do you want to spend it on? Um, I'm putting it in, a a fund from my new fiddle. Oh, lovely, well done. The Jackie Clark collection played a major role in the comic flower. Jackie was of one political persuasion himself. He was a very, very clever man and he collected all sides of Irish history with the tagline that his late wife, Anne Clark, who I worked closely with, had said um, so people could debate and judge and discuss for themselves. But some things that was highly listed on his collection was an original 1916 proclamation, which of course Eamon Kant is one of the seven signatories. And then we have a unique piece here to us called um, dispatches, which is a military term. So during the Easter Rising, in, back in 1916, that particular weekend of the Easter Rising, um, Eamon Kent hand wrote little dispatches, as they're referred to, and he got them sent around Dublin just to let people know what was going on from the different areas. So yeah, as you said, rightly pointed out, there would be our text messages of today, um, except it wouldn't have been as uh, high security for the people delivering the dispatches around Dublin as our texts would be today. Yeah, so we're very, very proud. And look, Ballina is so proud to house this collection here. We've had a wonderful week here in the Jackie Clark Collection. On Tuesday, all the way from the Military Museum in the Curra in County Kildare, we were very honoured to host Eamon Kant's um, actual original Illum Pipes. Um, they live in the Curra Museum um, and are minded obviously by the military uh, defence forces. And we learned on that particular day it was the second time ever that such a prized possession of the countries um, travelled outside of the, the four walls of the Curra. So they arrived here on Tuesday, a um, beautiful set of Ilham pipes, and um, have to say they arrived here on the back of Ilham Walsh. The Ilham pipes uh, is one of Ireland's national instruments along with the harp. And uh, I've been, the set of pipes I have here were made uh, for my birthday in 2004. I bought a four bedroom house with a garage 28 years ago for the same price as these. But I had the honor of playing Eamon Kant's pipes, one of the leaders of 1916. His pipes are on display in the Curra. So I managed to get talking to Mary Gallagher, his grandniece, asking would she do a lecture on Eamon Kant at the Flan Balna, and she said she'd be delighted to. So I rung the Curra Military Museum and asked, is there any way we could get a loan of Eamon Kant's pipes for a lecture in Ballina? I said, we wouldn't be letting those pipes out of the Curra. They're a national treasure. And it wouldn't be up to us. It'd be up to the Department of Defence. So I rung the Department of Defence, and lo and behold, uh, we got permission to release them. 
and uh, they've been in Balna. They were in Balna for three days, and I got. I had the honour of playing them. Now they're in bad condition, but I put in some of my own reads, and I played the Foggy Jew, Raglan Road, and the Wearing of the Green. Uh, to be playing such an iconic set, it was so emotional. <laughs> Now, uh, the flat is in full swing here at the Connacht Flat. Have you had the chance to join in some of the sessions, uh, Eamon? Yes, absolutely. There have been sessions on the Murray Monk, Rouse. There's, there's a buzz all around the town, busking competitions, and there's the Marquis in the Market Square, and there's a gig rig, and then the highlight tomorrow will be Dana singing at the Flat Mass. That, that'll be something to look forward to. would you believe goes way back to the 1700s and traditionally it was used as um, a nutritional value for the lesser well-off people would you believe um, because there wasn't much money around about then and as you can see here with breach there's potatoes carbohydrates um, that's uh, milk would be your calcium butter so it's a good wholesome meal so people who weren't as well off used to make this as their main dinner but that tradition has gone on and gone on and gone on. And to this day, here we are in 2023 in the wonderful Ballina, and we're still using the traditional box tea. And what better way than Breach's box tea? She makes a fine job. You had a bit of a sample there yourself, uh, Henry. And still as popular as ever. It is, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's building up all the time. Like, I mean, I started off very small and it's, it's building up all the time. And you put a special ingredient now that maybe the others don't no, have. <laughs> no, I don't put anything into it. Flour, salt, milk and potatoes, that's it. No additives, no nothing. That's so I put she it. seven days date on it. It's good for 10 days if it's kept in the fridge. Yeah. So you're going to have a busy afternoon now where people taste in the box. Hopefully, today. hopefully. Well, we wish you well, well and, and good luck with the, uh, the business as well, Breeches Boxing. <laughs> on stage now now in the next few minutes uh, with Gloria Dunn, Kayleigh Ban from Mayo so we're very very excited but we're having a fantastic weekend um, and we have kids from the club competing tomorrow so I want to wish them all the very best of luck. 
And um, how does it compare to other flags you've been at? Oh, it's fabulous. The atmosphere is great. Everyone has a smile on their face. Um, and I suppose we're just not long over the Sligo County flag, which was only about three weeks ago. So we're, we're in full flag mode now at this stage. So uh, if some of your uh, competitors get through then, does that bring them on to the All-Ireland? Yeah, so the All-Ireland is in Mullingar this year. So it'll be another weekend away for us, hopefully, please God. But uh, looking forward to it. Uh, how's traditional music in general doing in Sligo there with the young people? Well, I actually think, I know after the pandemic, I thought it might suffer a little bit, but I actually think everyone came back with a bang because uh, the standard we had in the County Sligo FLA was amazing. And the results that are coming in today from uh, the FLA office, um, they're just incredible. The kids have done a lot of work over the pandemic years anyway, and that's thanks to the teachers. Kept yeah. them going on Zoom and, and lessons like virtual lessons. We have a pop-up gate here at the Connacht FLA in Ballina. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get the pop up grill like this though, you know, just spot a car fall, the green of the tauncha, or why love for Bula the yellow will grill get a coup. I guess Stark Murdishman spot a car fall, cordially, you know, and um, I guess Tama John saw so Steve at Mail and Armour thought, and Huil got on Lodge and Shah, I guess Gornoy thought, and Huil got Ags and Flat, really fit to Fuji like Haley. And a lot of our Gail Gories have done very well in the competitions uh, this weekend. Yeah, so the blog who really like chocolate is though here, of course, is Shano, it's ironic there in Shano, and we owe August the Hora, Gwilga, Homai, Sophie, a couple of Bua, August the Maj in the winter, we owe August the Dini, Gallerai, Gadi, Mullingar. So we have had a really strong Mayo contingent um, in the Irish competitions, in the Shano's competitions this morning for Mayo and across Connacht, and it's really brilliant to see the young people, their interest, and just the brilliant talent we have at Gwilga here as well. Join us in part two where we catch up with Channel's dancer Tommy Stenson. People have an interest in it. Um, and it's something that anyone can give a go and see how they get on with it. My name is Tommy and I'll be doing a little bit of Shannos dancing. So Shannos is an Irish word and it means old style. So this is what we're doing is uh, an introduction to Shannos dancing and Ollie Fleming will be giving an introduction into set dancing. So a fun afternoon and lots of the community are coming along as well as some students from abroad as well. So we're looking forward to getting started and uh, people to learn one of Ireland's oldest form of dances. <laughs> There's been a real, I think, revival over the last number of years and probably since 2010, you people like the Cunninghams from Connemara and M. O. Sullivan and Edwina Guckian and the Scanlans in Newport, all giving it that life again. Um, so it's great to see that people have an interest in it um, and it's something that anyone can give a go and see how they get on with it. Shuffle, stamp. Shuffle, shuffle, stamp. Shuffle, shuffle, 61 of us over from Murcia in the southeast of Spain uh, with a, an academy called Shamrock uh, English and uh, we come over for three weeks. We're staying in Westport in families. They're all educators staying with uh, an Irish family and uh, this is our first day. So we decided to come to Ballina to, to sample some Irish traditional Irish music in the FLA and the kids are loving it. You see them in there dancing some Shanos. So uh, it's a great, great experience so far. And they seem to be getting in on the Shannon's dance pretty easy. Yeah, they're quick learners. You saw them yourself there. They, they, they're quick learners. They, and it's great. It's, it's something different. It's something you'd never see in Spain. So it's really good. And uh, none of them would have witnessed uh, or been at a FLA before? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Over in Spain, there's no FLAs, I'm afraid. Um, no, so it's, it's completely new for them. So it's a nice novelty. <laughs>
Obviously, it's been running all week, the competitions in that aspect this weekend, and I was very taken by all the different representative people who were at the opening from different organisations, because it's not just the ordinary kind of flat anymore, it's very special this year. Um, and you also um, set up a pilot scheme here, Community Flower, which is the first of its kind in the country. It is. Uh, we held a competition among the four provinces and we had the four applicants, but they had to show us that they had a plan for involving the whole community. In other words, all community organisations could set out their stall, so it would be the community celebrating who they were as a people, with the flag uh, central to that, and it has been very successful. I've looked it down through the programme and all the different groups groups and bodies and agencies that have come on board. So we're calling it FLA on Fubble, uh, a community FLA. So Connacht won out and they have set the template for future years and then next year we intend to extend it into other provinces and then we bring it right down uh, through the counties and it forms part of a new strategy, a new prospectus that we have which leads us up to 2030 and it has hundreds of elements, absolutely everything from youth, culture, archive, tourism, diaspora, everything is included and that will be launched on the 11th of August at the Flacciola in Mullingar by Mary McAleese. <laughs> attending flag you're always going back a while now I have yeah yeah my first one was the Tullamore flat I think it was 2007 2008 I was very young but um, that was before I really got into Irish music and I said Jesus this is actually what I want to do for for the rest of my life so uh, that was a real eye-opener uh, there was people everywhere like it was thronged absolutely thronged and there was music everywhere you go into any pub there was music like so yeah, it was, it was fantastic. And you've been attending yeah. them ever since? I have, yeah, yeah. I, to be honest, now I, no, I can't remember them in chronological order, but Cavan was there, Sligo, uh, there was Ennis, one in Garmo recently. Uh, I won it, I won the bar run in Derry in 2013. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I've all gold and that. So, that's, I said, once I won it, that's it, I'm not going back. I, I, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it, was, it was great to have that on your back. Like. Well, you have a job here at the Connick Plan, Ballina. I do, yeah, I'm the MC for the gig rig here behind me. Uh, myself and Sylvie Golden as well, so uh, we're, we're kind of swapping in and out, we'll uh, introduce the bands, you know, kind of get the crowd going and uh, just create a good vibe around the place, like, yeah. so it's, uh, yeah, it's great and to be asked.
I think you're the leader of the group here as well. What do you call yourselves? For folks sake. Yeah. Not We're an easy name to remember. No, no yeah. Um, we have Irla on the baron, uh, myself on the flute, Anya on the flute as well, uh, Kelly on the fiddle, and Oshin on the guitar. And we have another member, uh, Cara, but she's not here with us today. She plays the harp. And have you been taking part in the competitions here in the flat? Yeah, the um, Open St. Mary's Secondary School, so yeah, there's a great buzz around the town, yeah. Great. So did you come together to form this group especially for the flat? Um, no, not necessarily. We just uh, we formed it to start a few gigs around the town, try to bring music back into the town. We're all a part of uh, Bowfield, which is the group we're competing in with the flat, so mm -hmm. yeah. And I believe you just won the busking competition here at the flat. That must be a great... Uh, for you as well. We did, yeah. It was a, it was a nice surprise, yeah. We're we're happy out, so we are. <laughs> Liam, uh, this is a busy time for you in the pub here. Yeah, it's a fantastic time. Uh, it's been a great year all round. Uh, we had Biden visiting the 14th of April there, and it's, we had the Mayo Day celebrations in Mayo for the first time. The Connacht Flair now, it's been great buzz for the town. It's been great for Mayo in general, the whole lot, you know. And, and you have music in the pub as well, don't you? Yeah, we run music every week. Uh, more so now in the summer season. We have three nights a week, Thursday, Friday and Sunday. And we've had busking all this week, which has been great. And we were lucky enough to be able to sponsor the busking competition today. Um, it's brought a great buzz around the area again and promote Bellina as a music town and cultural venue. So it's great. Congrats to all involved with the 2023 Connacht Flag and indeed all the winners as well. And we look forward to the All Ireland Flag coming to Ballina in the very near future. So until next week at the same time, Slán before.